Hi everyone, what is going on? My name is Jamie Palmer and welcome to another episode with the Barney Destroyer 7.0. So, um, I'm back on the wine now. Even though I said in my last video, uh, I'm not going to be drinking any more wine on my YouTube videos, but it just becomes a natural habit now. On um, When I begin my trading, I always have a glass of wine because it helps me relax and get into the zone and it doesn't help as well i don't know if you can see but i'm literally two meters away from about 30 bottles of wine which is a very very bad combination to have uh, but yeah in today's video i'm going to be telling you my three simple steps that you need to do to master trading okay whether that's the price action whether you're trading the binary shoyer or even if you're trading another indicator okay uh this is my youtube video okay if you know me right i am all about love and sharing positivity like a hippie i guess um and i don't care if you're a bd member or not okay this goes out to everyone that is trading and every kind of person in this trading community now, I quickly want to show you uh, two or three setups that I took today using the buyer show. And this is using simple methods like support and resistance, uh, the MACD RSI overbought, as you can see here, and BD arrows. Okay. My first one was a sell on NZUSD. Okay. This is that small six pound trading account. I've now got it to £21.60, as you can see here. Uh, and yeah, I'm pretty much still on. Look, look, right. If you actually look at my results for the current month, I'm on all. Uh, no, it's going to be the previous month, isn't it? Pretty much all greens. Look at this all the way down here. All greens pretty much. OK, but you can see here today's trades. I took some sales on NZUSD. OK, you can see here NZUSD sell. And those were the sales just here okay now this is simple simple trading right i basically went over to the four hour time frame right and you can see a nice resistance area just here. in fact i'd actually drawed one previously look at that okay and if you zoom in you can see that nice rejection wick on top right so that's the four hour we go down to the one hour and guess what look bd arrow see that right at the support line so mogwai arrow macd overbought great you go down to the 30 minutes same situation look overbought on the macd and rsi mogwai arrow you go down to the 15 minutes and guess what same situation look 15 minute charts mogwai arrow macd overbought right simple uh, and again look you can see here i managed to lock in here some nice little cells on that one right the next trade gp cad Right now, I wouldn't normally take this trade, right? Uh, because there's no clear support and resistance on this one. There's no clear support line. If I go over to the daily, right, we're not really, let me just have a look at the four hour. We're not really at any support line. I'd probably say the next support line is down here. But again, you know, this is a nice little buy, okay? See here, MACD gone oversold and a nice little buy. Uh, on GPCAD there, okay, and again, maybe 30 minutes, again, you can see that nice little arrow here, again, look at the MACD gone overbought there, again, just simple trading, maybe have 40 pips stop loss, this trade is at 90 pips, or 100 pips now, so again, almost a 1 to 3 risk reward ratio, my final trade was a buy on USD CAD, right? And this is just what I want to show you, right? This is how you filter out all these signals here, right? See that signal? It's a loss. That's a signal. It's a loss. You take this trade. Guess what? It wins. Why does it win? Let's go over to the daily chart. Okay, you can see how price has come straight down into this support area here. See that? And we literally spiked straight off it okay you could probably see it better on the four hour there you go see that that little spike there so you go down to the one hour right and i'm thinking great okay we're at a support area we're oversold on the macd and rsi and we've got a mogwai arrow okay there we go again maybe have around a 80 pip stop loss 80 pip take profit I personally, because I'm a scalper, I don't go for those amount of pips. I go for around 5 to 30 pips. The reason being is because I want to capture small moves. It doesn't necessarily mean less money for me because I just up my lot size. In fact, I'll actually show you. 
I will show you my actual trading results on my live account on my actual account that you don't never see uh, so this is the week I don't know if you can see that uh, will that zoom I think that focuses yeah £1,424 in 10 days worth of trading, okay? And most of those is set of around 50 pips, right? Obviously, I just increased my lot size accordingly, right? That is it. Now, my three simple steps, believe it or not, when I get over to there, are these here, right? If you want to master trading, if you want to truly master trading, right, you've got to take all of the garbage that's online, and just break it down into three steps, right? First one is support and resistance and candlestick patterns. Now, every single trader out there, listen to me, look at my eyes when I say this, every single trader out there has their own different style of trading. Some like the indicators, some don't like indicators, some like price action, some like Fibonacci levels. There are millions of strategies out there, absolutely millions. But do you know what? Every single trader out there will agree on two things. Support and resistance and candlestick patterns are key. If you don't understand those two simple price action techniques, you will not be successful. And I guarantee every single strategy out there, whether it's an indicator, an EA, price action, they will all use support and resistance and uh, candlestick patterns. So the first thing you want to do is learn them. Don't learn any other price action technique. Just learn those two. And when you get so good at it, everything just becomes easier. Like I give you an example here, right? Uh, when my charts decide it's going to load up, look at USD CAD, right? NZUSD. You look at this, right? We're at a four hour resistance area. So a nice resistance zone. Look at that candlestick pattern there. Look at that giant rejection wick here. So resistance, candlestick pattern, right? And because of it, I spotted this sell signal here, right? I managed to get, as you can see here, I managed to make, obviously this is that small account, but I made some good pips, right? The next one I want you to learn is money and trade management. Right, it doesn't matter how good you are at trading, you've got to understand how to manage trades. Believe me when I say this, right? Most traders fail. I'm, I'm sure you've heard the saying 99% of traders fail and only 1% are set successful. The reason why 99% fail is because they don't manage the trades, they don't manage how to m losses and they don't manage the wins. Okay. I'll give you a prime example on, uh, let's look at, I don't know, you, let's look at, I don't know, uh, a good example here, GPCAD, right? We would have took this nice little buy here. What we do is we set our stop loss first. That's the first thing we do is we set our stop loss. So let's say we go with a 40 pip stop loss. So our take profit wants to be at least 40 pips we don't want to be risking more than we're winning okay you don't go to i mean give an example you go to a roulette table right in a casino and they have a 50 50 odds right you put 100 pound down you're either going to lose 100 pound or make 100 pound right it's the same with trading right you don't want to risk 100 pound to make 20 pound because that's terrible you want to risk 100 pound to make at least 100 pound, 150, 200 pound would be even better, right? So you need to get into that rhythm and that flow of setting your stop losses first and actually managing trades, right? Watch YouTube videos, watch people trade and see how they manage them trades. I'll give you an example here on, okay, if I take a sell here, right, I'm not gonna take a sell, uh, but you see here, right, I can set stop losses. I can set trailing stop losses. So this here on C Trader works everything out for me. You see this here, right? It tells me if I set a stop loss of, 
uh, a lot size of 0 0.01 with a stop loss of 5 pips. Okay, let's go with minus 5 pips because obviously, uh, there we go like that. Okay, it tells me how much I'm going to lose if I use this lot size with this amount of pips, right? And again, I can use the trailing stop loss. So you need to understand this first before actually physically trading. Once you get the concept and you understand all that, the next one is strategy, learning your strategy. And when I say learning that your strategy, I mean going to the FX Learning website, for instance, downloading a simulator. We have a partnership with a great free simulating company, Soft4XX, okay? Download a decent simulator and sit there and practice and practice and practice. Go over the trades that lose and go over the trades that win. Why did trades lose? Why did trades win? And how can you can eliminate those losses and maximize those profits, okay? End of the day, trades are gonna lose, right? You are gonna lose trades, that's part of trading, right? But you need to understand the good trades that lose and the bad trades that lose. So if you take a good trade and it loses, accept it. It's a bad trade, it, it's a trade, it lost, you move on from it. If it's a bad trade that lost, why is it a bad trade? Was it a trade that didn't meet your rules? Did you try and get greedy? Did you chase trades? Right, was it a trade that was against the trend? Was it a trade that didn't meet your strategy? Once you start to understand that, you start to eliminate all those losses and you start to become picky with your trades. You start to be selective, you know. If you actually look at my trading history, this is just that small account, right? And you actually look at the last three months results, you will see, okay, out of the last three months, I've only took really one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, uh, twenty-seven. I think 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 5. So I've took 36 trades in the last three months with this small account. But look how many losses I've had in those three months. One loss, two loss, three loss, four loss, five loss. I've had five losses in the last three months with this small account and I've done 6, 12, 18, I've done nearly a 400% gain, 98% win ratio. And that is about learning the strategy, okay? Becoming selective on your trades. As you can see here, right, GPCAD was a good trade, right? Oversold on the MACD and RSI, and this trade went around, 109 pips with a stop loss of 25 pips or so what's that uh almost a one to five risk reward ratio but i wouldn't take this trade because there was no support line hence why i didn't take the trade now look at nzusd i take this trade because a it's at the daily resistance it's at the four hour resistance we've got a nice rejection wick one hour is overbought. We've got a Mogwai arrow, 30 minutes again, overbought, Mogwai signal. Three entry rules and every single one lines up perfectly to give me a good trade. Where do I set my stop loss? I don't know, let's go 20 pips. So 20 pips stop loss, this trade went 21 pips. So I would have hit a nice one to one risk reward ratio with this trade. Uh, I obviously closed it off early, which you've seen. So yeah, my three simple steps. Believe me, take my advice, take it on board. Uh, if you have any questions, like I said, always drop me an email. My email is open to everyone, whether you're a BD member or not. Uh, so yeah, hope you enjoyed that video. If you have any questions, drop me an email, thebinoshoyer at gmail.com.